Bear with me. This video is going to be about something extremely pointless. Okay, so maybe I can't make you laugh, but I can share with you a couple ways that you can put your video or image in a circle like this. Before we jump into it, I want to summarize each method with a quick example. And please let me know in the comments if you find this helpful. Okay, so for the first method, we're going to need our main footage represented by this blue paper here. Let's pretend it's footage of a big, beautiful lake. Okay, then let's say we have a separate footage where I'm talking about this lake. And that'll be represented by this wonderful drawing that my son made for me. So the first and easiest method is to simply take our main footage, you know, this big, beautiful lake here, and punch a permanent hole in it. Then with this lake footage in our overlay track, we can simply position our talking head footage in the track below. Okay, let's try it in the editor. Check it out. I found some footage of that beautiful lake. Unfortunately, as beautiful as it is, we need to punch a hole in it. To do this, let's click the sticker icon, select shapes, and then we'll grab this yellow circle and drop that right above our footage like this. Now we need to choose a color. And since we'll be using the chroma key tool to punch out this sticker, let's be sure to choose a color that's not in our footage. In this example, I'm seeing a lot of greens and blues here. So let's stay away from those and go with red. While we're here, we might as well add a little outline. Why not? Now let's resize and reposition the sticker to exactly where we want for our video. And then down here in the timeline, let's make sure we stretch the sticker out all the way to the end of our footage. Okay, so next, let's quickly export this, then bring the exported clip right back into our project. For this, I prefer to use the selection tool so that I only export what I need. Okay, so I brought that exported clip into the media bin, and now I'll get rid of these originals by highlighting and hitting the delete key. With that all cleaned up, let's drag our imported clip from the media bin down into the timeline. Now, if you're wondering why we went through that quick export process, check this out. Now we can highlight our clip, go up here in our tools and select chroma key, and then use the color picker tool to completely punch out this red circle. Boom, hole punch, just like our paper demonstration from earlier. Now to finish up, all we need to do is move this clip into the track above our talking head footage like this, and then do our best to reposition this talking clip until it shows nicely through the opening. So that's it for method number one. Let's move on to number two. For this method, we're gonna take our image or video like this and transform it into this so that we can easily place it anywhere on the screen that we'd like. Now this is my favorite method because for one, it's easy to move around and animate. And two, we're gonna create a quick template that we can save and reuse for more videos in the future. Let's jump in. To begin making this template, let's first head over to the import tab and in backgrounds, let's find white and drag that down into our timeline. Now let's click the tools icon, select color adjustments, and then under manual mode, let's grab this tint slider and drag it all the way to the right like this. Next, we need to open the stickers icon and in the shapes tab, let's take this circle sticker here and place it in the timeline right above our green background layer. Now let's go ahead and change the color to blue. And of course, if we want, we can add a nice little outline. Oh, and for the outline, if this option isn't thick enough for the look you want, no problem. You can just add another circle sticker like this and adjust the color and size to create the perfect look for your video. Once we're happy, let's take a quick snapshot of our template and bring that snapshot right back into the timeline and delete out the originals. Now with our new snapshot clip highlighted, let's open the chroma key tool and use the color picker to punch out the blue circle like this. And that's it. Now we can save this template to reuse in other videos. There's a couple ways to save this, but I prefer to just right click the clip and select copy, then save the current project. And after saving, open a new project and paste this template into the timeline. Now save this and it's ready to go for next time. Okay, now that we have our template ready and we know how to save it for later, let's get to the fun part. Let's bring our talking head footage into the timeline like this. And then we'll place this template in the track above it and stretch it out to match the clip below. With that set, all we need to do is reposition the lower footage so that it displays nicely through the opening. So to do that, we'll click on our footage to highlight it, then click the More Tools icon and select Position. From here, we can resize and reposition this clip until we think it's about right. A little off still, so let's click back on our talking clip again and adjust a bit more. Continue this process until you have it perfectly the way you like. Once we're satisfied, let's use the selection tool to export these and then bring the exported clip right back into the timeline. Okay, so now with this talking clip back in the timeline, we'll want to place this talking clip above this nice lake footage and use the chroma key tool one last time to remove the green and adjust the tolerance as needed. Boom, 
That's it. Now our circle footage is basically just like a sticker. You can easily adjust the position and add animation and more. I'm curious, which one of these two methods do you like best? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to join me for some more editing tips, click this video right here. Thanks for watching.